It's the Cannes Yachting Festival, and if you're a regular viewer of this YouTube channel, you'll know that the brokerage with whom I work, Northrop & Johnson, entered into an exclusivity agreement with New Marine. Um, as a matter of fact, the uh, show has started really well. We've uh, had uh, a broker at all times on the New Marine yachts. We've had some support staff here as well with the shipyard, working closely with them. And on the first day of the show, we actually sold one of these. I mean, to be fair, the negotiation had already started before the show, but the deal was closed on the first day. Everybody was very happy. We'll be back at the shipyard in the coming months to show how one of these is built and also to film a finished one. But today in the boat show, I wanted to show you the other model, which is over there, which is the 26 XP. Now this has a steel hull. The 26 has a composite hull. It's a much smaller yacht, but it's a big 26. As you know, this is not my normal style of video. Usually we'd go out to sea, we have a, a professional crew doing all the videography and the editing. Um, so what I thought what I'd do is take some advice from some people I had dinner with last night, some very famous YouTubers. I'm gonna start by taking a leaf out of the book of Naughty Style. I'm not quite sure how effective that's going to be, but one never knows. You have to try all kinds of different forms of, uh, of videography to see what gets the views. I think that might even make a good thumbnail for the video, eh, Slava? <laughs> Let's try now a little bit of Aquaholic. And to do that, you do have to press the record button. As you can see, the, the Aftec is really sizable. It's, uh, it's great for, I would say, one, two, three, six, eight. You could easily get 12 people in here reasonably comfortable but the the thing i wanted to show you is a few of the features that maybe would go missed otherwise this little panel here you see you've got all of the uh, controls there for the passerelle in and out and up and down you've also got the lighting this is for the swim platform up and down let me just show you that very quickly see it's a sizable swim platform you can get a good sized uh, tender on there at the moment. There's a sea bob on there and that actually lifts and lowers in and out of the sea. But what's this here? You know what, this is absolutely not as easy as Nick makes it look. He's so good at doing these videos. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the super yacht captain approach. Just bear with me a moment. Here we have the controls for the mooring. And it's so important when you are mooring to be aware of the direction of the wind, even when sometimes it looks like there isn't much wind, it always does affect the yacht. So this is a great position for you to be able to have access to the bow thruster, the stern thruster, you've got the, uh, the actual throttles here as well, engine stop and start, absolutely great spot. And of course, as you get closer to the, uh, to the dock, this is a good position to look at so you can really see what's going on. No, that's, that's not really working either. I think I'm just going to have to go back to my normal approach and slava. Will you come back and work for me, please? Sure. Because that's too much like hard work. I was going to try the e Sisman approach as well, but we would have had to burn a yacht down and the organisers just wouldn't let us do it on this occasion, maybe next year. What I did want to show you is the space on these 26-metre yachts. The, um, the design that New Marine are adopting is a design um, to give you as much space as is possible. And I'd remind you that the 26 meter is available either as a displacement hull or as a planing hull. So either you can have speed and a little less range, or you can go a little bit slower, smaller engines, but get a greater range. And I think that's great to be able to offer that option to clients because some people will love the design, love the space, but don't really want a planing hull. Other people have exactly the opposite problem. I remind you as well that all of the cabinetry here is done in-house and it really is quite beautiful. It gives clients who are buying from New Marine as well some um, freedom of choice in terms of what they want for the cabinetry because everything's done in-house. I'm quite sure that if you speak to them about a different sort of wood, they'll always listen to you and, and accommodate you in any way that they possibly can. Big spacious saloon area, lovely big windows. I mean, a lot of Yacht builders are doing big windows now because they appreciate how much people want to uh, enjoy the sunshine, uh, even when they're on the inside of the yacht. But these are particularly big and New Marine have been doing this for years and years. Through here, we have a nice sized galley area. Again, plenty of light for the chef, 
huge fridge and freezers and plenty of work surface as well. Um, I think when you accept a different design rather than the sleek production yacht design of most planing hulls, um, once you've got over that apparent need to always have something very low profile and you find a design that's very appealing visually that gives you a lot of volume, the benefits are actually huge in terms of interior volume. You can get so much more in the yacht and this head height, lots of width. Um, actually I was walking down the side deck earlier as well and the side deck is extremely wide. It's not one of these that you have to sort of go sideways to, uh, to get along. Moving forward, we have a day head just here. And I have to say, it's a beautifully appointed little day head. They use really nice fixtures and fittings, um, the kind of stuff that many sort of very wealthy people would have in their homes. So this is a home from home. And the bridge too. Um, again, for a 26 metre yacht, this is quite surprising how much interior volume there is. But then when you get here, you understand how they did it. Because we're right up to the bow here. All of this is interior volume. You have these forward raked windshields, still space at the bow for a little seating area, more than a seating area actually, quite a good sunbathing area. But by bringing the superstructure all the way forward, they have space for a good sized bridge, seating area there, still seating at the bow as well. Let's take a look below deck. Here we have the, uh, the Ford VIP cabin. This is quite unusual. They've used the form of the hull because they obviously we're coming to the point of the bow here and they've used that form to put the bed at an angle uh, that corresponds with the angle of the bow. And it actually looks very effective. It's got plenty of space to walk around. You've still got a seating area there. Um, good wardrobe space as well. Particularly here, those are drawers um, that you'd use for other kinds of storage. But I mean, that really is ample for most people. Ample space, extra space here as well. And let's take a look at the, the bathroom that goes with this particular cabin. Good sized bathroom. Again, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I always take a look at the showers and that's a good sized shower. You can easily stand up in there it's absolutely fine. Moving further aft, we have through here, another guest stateroom. Beautifully appointed. Let's take a look to see what the wardrobe space is like here. Again, decent sized wardrobe space. You can certainly hang trousers, jackets and such like in there. And there's still space with drawers. And once again, a nice sized head. And I must compliment New Marine because they know where to spend the money and where it's not worth spending the money. So they don't put the prices of their yachts up and up and up and up because they're putting maybe useless, extremely expensive items. It's all very, very good quality. Um, but it's all really quite simple as well. This is a lacquered finish here. So it's, it's a very high quality wallpaper here. That's probably not as expensive as some of that wooden cabinetry that you see in some builders. The fact that they're building this yacht from composites also makes it um, a more attractive price. I know I get a lot of comments on the YouTube channel from people who say, ah, no, an Explorer yacht should be a steel hull. And, and in a sense, you're right. If you really are going to go and do the Northwest Passage and something like this, to be honest, you're gonna have bigger problems than just the hull, but steel would probably be the material of choice. But composites, modern composite, is extremely hardy, extremely tough. Um, and because it's built from a mold, it keeps the prices down for actually the, the, the cost of the yachts. And th for those very, very few of you watching who don't have a super yacht, and I know there's one or two, um, it's interesting that no matter how wealthy people are, in fact, sometimes the more wealthy they are, the more they value um, money because they worked hard to get it and they do look at what they're getting for the price. And as far as price to quality goes, Numerine are extremely successful because they offer a remarkable report, a re remarkable ratio of price to quality. But I digress. Through here, we have a little sitting room and a sauna. That will have been a request of the owner, I'm quite sure. Otherwise, this would probably be a cabin. I'm, not, I'm guessing, yeah, certainly a cabin. Um, but clearly the owner of this yacht wanted to have this sauna here. 
It's a nice addition. It's not something I personally would use, but um, many, many people do. I don't need a sauna. I just come to the Cagnot show where it's so hot. It feels like you're walking through a sauna. And here we have the master stateroom. And this is the part of the yacht with the wow factor. And you have to remember that um, at the end of the day, the person who stays in this cabin is the person who's paying for the yacht. So you have to look after them. They're paying the wages of the crew. Uh, they're paying actually to purchase the yacht. And they won't be disappointed with this. This is really quite huge. Lots of space all the way around. You've got that lovely seating area there. Um, I'm guessing, and I'm sure I'm right, that behind here there'll be a large television hidden behind the mirror. Um, you have, just behind Slava, the walk-in closet, and on this side, a really lovely and well-appointed bathroom with a very, very large shower. Plenty of natural light coming in. You've got a, an area to sit here, do some work if you want to, or if somebody wants to put their makeup on. Um, that's the great area to do that as well. This is, for me, the part of the yacht that has the biggest wow factor and probably is one of the reasons why it's such a successful model. Let's take a look at the flybridge. And again, here, it's all about space. It's what New Marine is so good at. This is a huge flybridge for a 26-meter yacht. It really is. It's beamy, it's spacious. You've got plenty of space here for barbecue areas, for fridges, freezers, ice makers, everything you could possibly want. A huge table here, um, which people, I'm guessing, would use usually this, uh, this table for for dining on board because you benefit from the hard top and the shade that it gives you. You also have a uh, helm station up here, which, you know, I'm sitting down, but I think mostly uh, most captains would be standing up so they get better visibility, but even sitting down, you can see where you're going. It's a, it's a lovely spot and they've tucked it really neatly away. So it's out of the way of the diners. Um, and at the same time, made it a quite an attractive design. So it's not an eyesore. Back here, we have all of this sunbathing area too. I noticed actually while we were waiting to film up here that one of the new marine uh, people was showing some clients around and they pointed out that these, this freestanding uh, furniture here is actually anchored down. You can move it if you need to, because you can lift this up. But as you can see down there, there's a, a, little, um, a little socket that it fits into so that when you're underway, it's not gonna slide around all over the, all over the rather beautiful deck. Behind here, tucked away, there's a crane and a jet ski. So this is a yacht that you can have the tender on the swim platform and a jet ski up here as well. It's just a great solution for somebody who doesn't want to go much bigger than 26 meters, but does want a lot of space. And a conversation that's come up quite a lot um, during this show is the fact that many yacht owners could easily afford something that's 50, 60, 70 meters, but the way they use their yacht, they have their favorite spots particularly in Greece and Turkey and Croatia. Some people have their favorite little bay that they can just get into, tie the yacht to a rock, and that is their happy place. So they would never buy a yacht that's too big to fit into that happy little bay for them. And this is a great solution for that kind of a yacht owner. Now, I make no apologies for the fact that on this tour, we won't be showing you the engine room or the crew quarters because boat shows are such a busy time for crew. They're having to keep the yacht clean the whole time. They sleep in their cabins at night. I don't feel it's appropriate on this occasion to disturb them because they, they do have so much work to be doing. But what I do want to do is particularly thank Tristan, Nick, Aquaholic, Victoria and Rico for letting me take the mickey a little bit at the beginning. I haven't actually asked them, so I hope they're going to be fine with it, but they're great people. Victoria and Rico and myself are fast becoming uh, good friends. I've, I've got to tell you, if you do watch Naughty, if you don't watch Naughty Stars, you should. If you do, what you see on YouTube is actually the way that she is. She's like a, a little ray of sunshine going around the, uh, the boat show and it's absolutely fantastic. Tristan as well, Nick, they're, they're good friends, good people. We have a really nice community. We had a great dinner last night. Um, so that's why, how I wanted to end the video. Apart from saying, of course, that you subscribe to them and don't subscribe to me, then subscribe to me as well and click on the bell icon to get notifications of new videos.